Welcome to Late to Show. I'm your host, Prophet Zinni Four. Today, we bring an MSI motherboard, not just any MSI. We're talking about the Meg Z390. So we're gonna take a look at it and see what's included in this mega package. Now, just to get you, let you guys know, there's two, three different kind of packages, but we got the big package. And when I'm talking about big package, you're gonna see what's included when you buy something like this as a mega package. So um, this is for a 9.9 core. Um, so just, just to, an Intel i9. I mean, that's what we're gonna pretty much add in here. And we're going to let you guys see what's included. So this is part one of many parts that are going to be included in the actual build that we're going to do. And this motherboard is going to be part of the build. And I am going to do a live streaming. So if you guys like stuff like this, let me know. Hit me up. So right now what we're going to do, we're going to open it up and see what you get. First of all, they give you details on the box. You don't even need to open it first. It just shows you the freaking awesomeness of this motherboard. We're going to open it up right now. And... I like the little case that they give you. It's all included. It give you all this dynamic information that you need to know and and so forth. So let's go ahead and open it up. And they give you in two parts, all right? One part is here, and the other part is the actual motherboard. We're not really gonna take the motherboard completely out, but we're gonna talk a little bit about it. And I'm gonna show you guys some stuff about the motherboard. And we're gonna go bring that camera a little bit closer so right now I'm gonna keep it in its box so I can make sure I don't have to compromise any of the stuff but I am gonna open up a couple items so you guys can see what's included so if you guys can see it has the ports available to one two three four four ports so that means you could have it could have two video cards if you want and then Elgato card and another sound card if you want to or anything else that you can include in here now the best thing about it is these things right here m.2 so we're gonna open this one up here apart so i can show you one there's one right here that we're taking apart so you guys can see how many you can fit in this motherboard um first of all one two and three they give you three slots for an m.2 connection uh th this is freaking more than what you need so you could be running your os and at the same time you could have your data saved in two different formats but they're not done there i mean they give you actually more and we're going to talk a little bit more about it if you thought that the motherboard was it so let me give you a little bit more of what else you get in the motherboard itself so here they give you a little sack a little bag all right let's see what's going on msi it says i like this little setup here this is crazy motherboards are getting a little bit more uh the very unique of uh, some of the setups so these are the temperature control reader meters uh more cables for your fans and extensions so it's pretty much it's all included in this little bag in here this is important this is actually a bridge for the video cards if you say you have two um two uh, video cards nvidia's and this is pretty much a bridging for the msi cards and it's only for nvidia they don't have our uh, any other video cards because it's it's very hard to manufacture so these are the length that they're they're estimated to um, exact size for those dual video cards if you want a 1080 ti or pretty much a rtx 2080 ti will fit in perfectly for bridging on top of that they give you customized cables sata cables red and black really unique color i like that color red and black more sata cables more sata cables quick manual book installation um setup steps i step bios information fan information um drivers usb um not usb but they give you a freaking um a, a dvd drivers and a poster uh exactly uh, what kind of video cards are are you know customized for this and they give you a little more in depth on the actual motherboard um this one's a plus look at this sucker now if you thought that the motherboard only had three slots for m.2 look at this we're gonna open this one up three slots is not enough they said you know what let's give them two more 
so they give you this customized card that it's for it's made but i think you can use this card for anything else we could try it on another system but they give you a customized card with two m.2 slots so you could put them in there and rate them as for more data so you can have your two terabytes two terabytes you know and you could rate them if you want really unique item that it comes available with the motherboard for extra space extra storage i like that this is crazy this is awesome this one's a really unique thing too also they give you the antenna you know it's an extended antenna there's cables in there for the wi-fi if you're going to set up this computer as a wireless connection and you want to make sure you get the best connection they give you the extender and the actual antenna and we go to the piece of resistance here now this is a great item so you want to buy a streaming card or something that you want to capture this one's included on the motherboard it's called streaming boost so basically they give you an Elgato card built in the system but only one input of course and we're going to take a look at it and we're going to open it up right now as you can this is a little awesome little thing compared to Elgato Elgato gives you another you buy the Elgato this is included with the motherboard I'm going to open it up here so this is a whole streaming system ready to go ready built actually so they give you the card itself but there's only one thing it's only to capture it's not to go output so you can't have video you can't put your playstation and then play it in a different monitor it's just gonna have to be played from the system itself i don't know if it's gonna be a little delayed on it i had problems before so it's only mostly made for capturing system so if you want to be able to capture gameplay and stuff like that this is another way or connecting another desktop to it that you're playing this is a great thing so they include the actual card and this one is a compatible with uh, obs uh, vmix xsplit and uh, also the adobe and other systems that they have in here um capturing fully this captures that hdmi 1.4 b compatible that's pretty much the highest definition you're gonna get uh 720 by 480 up to 1920 by 1080 that's pretty much what hdmi is going to capture not a 4k uh this is going to be pcie ex express slot so it could be any other slots that are included in the motherboard itself that's probably any other future video that we can do on here but it's included in here they give you three great items in here that i didn't even expect them but to be honest with you a capture card and an extra m.2 slot for more more actually more data capture it's a great item okay like i said it comes with its own io shield it has a clear button right here if you guys see it right here it has a button where you could actually clear the uh the bios or flash the bios uh extend it of course and this is a 6.35 jack all right for your headsets the larger headsets which i it's going to get the best quality of course they give you the they give you all the regular connection for your audio including the fiber connection if you guys see it in here uh i'm really soaked about this whole power thing and then of course the the two antennas to extend the, your wireless connection plus like i said they have one two three slots for m.2s um that you can install making it super awesome now uh, one thing I, I forgot to mention here let me open it up so you guys can see this now on the previous build that they had they had issues with it where it wasn't heating up the whole m.2 ssd so they actually added a thermal paste underneath and another thermal paste in here to make a sandwich out of it so every single piece of it would get um it's cooling you know so it's a it's a great thing that they did i forgot to mention that because um the previous one was a little bit hectic you know so this one's a little bit better of course and i i'm enjoying it i i so far i like it i like that you could display different um uh, gifts here and you could download uh, your own version so you could create your own i think i'm gonna put my own um it's gonna create you could create the check out the speeds that you're currently on and also another great thing about it you see that if you're gonna overclock it right here there's two different cpu connections so you go overclock it and they get they give you a extensive amount of a uh, fan support one two three there's about six of them back here that you could connect to now another great thing that i like about this the usb connections if you guys know it's cccc uh connections are a little thick you know so they used to put one in the bottom 
here and the bottom here and and now they have both of them lined up side by side and it was kind of hard it was kind of a stretch every time you want to connect to it because um it was not made for like the distance of it, but this time it's great. Now the one thing I didn't like about this was this connection here. It's a CPU connection, or it could be used for a GPU if you want. It's up to you. Um, the, I like the lighting itself. It's a good light, you know, godlike kind of thing. Uh, MSI turns on, M M uh, E G. It's the, it turns on. This crystallizer turns on. Uh, pretty much is like a freaking Christmas tree in here, you know. So. I do like that they you can overclock this right now. If you guys see this, there's a little glitch here. There's a little button here. It says BIOS and SW. You could change it from different ways. So you could have your own BIOS set up. So if you want to overclock and you set a template up, you could have one or two. It could be the regular one and the normal one or the speed one. It's up to you. Now, there is a knob here. So when you do overclock it and you want to slow it down, you can use this knob here to slow it down there's a reset and the power button of course right now you can mess around with this knob and um check out the speeds that you're currently on and you can slow it down like i said you know if you're overclocking it this is for overclocking people that love to you know tinker with the stuff this is a great buy on it um i like that they have everything customized it looks like it's well made uh very heavy duty of course and uh, I, I can't wait to start building this thing i mean the one thing i like about it that you could customize your gift for here it's i think it's gonna be great i'm gonna put late to the show right here and maybe you know lt whatever it is you know and of course they have all these new uh over power systems now that you you could easily overclock man like i said love it looks great all around uh like i said there's a lot of things that could come out of this thing and, and one thing it is i'm gonna actually build it and see if i could get some gaming going on or some or some editing going on because this is a great big build that i'm gonna do i'm gonna use it primary for vr and other systems so check it out if you guys like what you see make sure you guys subscribe and we're gonna go ahead and continue the build this is like i said one of many parts i'm gonna do so i'm opening what i'm gonna actually install on the nxt um desktop that you guys saw earlier so let me know what you guys think and um i could go on and on for, for this machine but there's not that much i can talk about it because it is a motherboard and pretty much a motherboard is a standard motherboard people sometimes want to see more features i do like these features these are my favorite actually that they included in here so if you guys like what you see make sure you guys subscribe i'm your host prophet 74 out